Hi, good day all of you. Welcome to our session. Welcome to our channel, Intelligible Tutorials. In the previous videos, uh, I have clearly given the introduction of the unit 2 data structures. We have completed the data structures. Document Manager and Document Search Manager are the two most widely used data structures for efficient item search in the information retrieval systems. And next, we are discuss the stemming algorithms. Where is data structures here? We discussed some of the stemming algorithms. There are so many variations are there in the stemming algorithms like uh, table lookup stemming, post stemming, dictionary stemming, or case stemming, and finally the successor stemming. So far in the past video, I have completed uh, table lookup stemming and post stemming. Now I am going to complete the dictionary stemming and as well as the successor stemming. Okay, so let us see once a clear look regarding the table lookup stemming. Table lookup stemming is also called as uh, one kind of case stemming, it is great in nature, removes large prefixes and suffixes and uh, best example for this is the retrieval there and best database for this is nothing but inquiry. And coming to the post stemming algorithm, in the post stemming algorithm, the entire alphabets can be divided into consonants and as well as the vowels and the frequent occurrence of the vowels followed by the consonants consonants is counted as the measure. The total number of the occurrences is denoted as the word MPM. Okay. And finally, how the uh, followed by the each and every vowel like that. So, here mild card characters also used like a star and a question mark and all these things. Star represents multiple characters. These things we have seen in our previous video. Now, I am going to start with the dictionary stemming, the third variation of the stemming that is dictionary stemming. The dictionary stemming is also called as case stemming. It is a dictionary based, the vocabulary words are based on the dictionary and used in the inquiry on the case stems. In the, in the dictionary, it is called as the case stemming. So, the vocabulary what we use in the dictionary are called as the case stems. One of the best advantage of the dictionary stemming is it avoids the collapsing of the same word can have multiple meanings. Such a word can be avoided. And it clearly give a mapping between uh, some kind of the similar words like India, Indian, British, Britain, like that. Okay. So, it finds only unique meaning of each and every word. Exact meaning wherever there appears, it uh, occurs the particular exact meaning only. Based on the exact meaning only, it works. This is nothing but the dictionary stemming. Once again, we see what is the meaning of the dictionary stemming. This dictionary stemming is called as the case stemming. It works on the dictionary based words only and uh, one word can have multiple meanings. It never entertain. It won't entertain such kind of the words. And one more thing, it uses one kind of the artificial intelligence technique that is natural language processing also as uh, NLP dictionaries and mapping between some kind of the similar terms like India, Indian, British, Britain like that and it is intended to design in a way to have the exact meaning. So, this is nothing but the dictionary stemming. Okay. So, what are the main things contained in the dictionary stemming? The dictionary of the words, the success, uh, six major data files it maintains. What are they now? We see the dictionary of words, supplement list of the words, exception list of the words, direct conflation. Just now we have seen the conflation means mapping between the searching item and as well as the searchable item. Next, country nationality. Conflation between nationalities and countries. British maps to Britain, Indian map to India, like that. And proper nouns. A list of proper nouns that should not be stemmed. Some of the proper nouns cannot be stemmed, cannot be trimmed. Such kind of the words are called as the proper nouns. It maintains a list of the proper nouns. So, what are the main six major data files used by the dictionary stemming are? Dictionary of words, supplementary list of the words, exception list of the words, country nationality mapping of conflation, direct conflation, indirect conflation, proper nouns, etc. Okay. Next, the other variation of the stemming is nothing but successor stemming. So, what is the uh, what are the main features are there in the successor stemmings? Now, you see, it contains symbolry of words, construct symbolry based on words. It represents both prefix and as well as suffix. So, implements three operations. What are the operations are cut off, peak, flat and complete word. So, what is the success of stemming? Let us see. This is a tree. The entire set of the words or items can be formed in the form of a tree. This is called the root. These are the intermediate uh, things. 
and these are the leaves okay so these are the intermediate things and the concrete uh, items these are and these are the leaf item this is the root word okay let us uh, see find out what are the words are there here see bring is a word here and the bag is a word here box is a word here and as well as b o t t l bottle is a word here and here like that if you uh, cut this root what are the words o x ox and uh, r a n g e r i n g like that some of the words will come if you cut off this root if you apply these operations like cut off p flat r else complete word if you want complete word direct it from root to the leaf you can have the complete word okay so like the b o t t l e p o x b a g like that we are having 1 2 3 4 four number of the complete words okay so arranging these words and identifying these words and applying the operations like cut off a uh, uh, peak and plate and identifying the complete word these are the main important things of the success or stemming okay so this is the success or stem okay so this this tree is called as the symbol tree of the collection of the words so what are the words we found uh, symbol tree of the terms bag bag bring box bottle okay one more thing is also there b a r n bag b a r n b a r n okay this is one of the word bag bag bring bottle box like that we are having uh, 1 2 3 4 5 number of the words are there in this uh, particular tree tree success or tree okay so this is the tree these are the collection of the words arranging the words in this form is called as success or stem and now uh, success or stem in what is the branch letters success or variety for b how many number of the success or variety or branch letters are there let us see for b you are having three words next success or a r o that's what i have written in this table that is uh, Three A R O. Now coming to the second one. Uh, what that is? B O. For B O, B O. What are the successors? T N X. Two are there. Okay. T N X. Two are there. For B, how many successors are there? Three A R O. Okay. That's what I have written here. Successor variety is nothing but three. Branch letters are A R O. Now coming to the second one, that is B O. For B O, we are having two branch letters T and X. Okay, so that's what I have written here. T comma X. Now coming to the box, how many are success success or variety words are there? B O X box. How many success or words are there? Only one. That is E here. Okay, B O X. What are the successor words? To O, the successor is nothing but E here. For B O, okay. So that is nothing but E. Now coming to the B O X E. What are the successor words? B O X E. What are the successor words for this? B O X E is nothing but R. Okay. B O X E R here. This one R. Okay, B O X E. The next success success R is nothing but R. So that's why I have written this. And B O X E R boxer. B O X E R boxer. What is the success R for this? You see, there is no success R. B O X E R. So simply I keep as the box. Like that, I can identify the success R for each and every each and every uh, level of the item. B A R O and A. G R and R again. You are having the I like that. B O X. You are having the last success R E. B O X E R. You are having the nothing. Okay. So like that, you can where you can see the variation of the success R for each and every word of the success R stem. So this is nothing but the stem. Arranging these words and identifying the success R and constructing the table based on the success R is nothing but the stem. This is called the success R stem. Like that, we completed variations of the stem. So, what are the stem variations? Table look up, post stem, dictionary stem, and as well as success R stem. In this video, I completed what is the dictionary stem and success R stem. Dictionary stem contains six number of the files. 
dictionary of the words, supplement list of the words, exception list of the words, and direct conflation or mapping of these words, and country nationality mapping, and proper nouns which we cannot apply the stunning operation. Coming to the success of stunning, you can apply these three operations and the entire word or uh, words are organized in the form of a tree. This is called as the successor tree and here we are having various kinds of the successors and as well as the other leaves. Okay. So, we can identify the successor variety branch letter prefix with using this particular table using this particular diagram. Okay. So, and again we having we are having the conclusions of the stem. Now, I would like to give the conclusions of the stemming algorithms. We have completed so far four number of the stemming algorithms. So, what are the example of each and every stemming algorithms? Stemming algorithms are very good and efficient in identifying the um, items in the document space and searching for the items in the document space and depends upon the nature of the vocabulary. Whatever vocabulary you are using, this uh, stemming algorithms implements those vocabulary. And one more thing, stemming is an effective as manual plantation. How manually you can map one searching item into searchable item within the database. You provide the uh, searchable item and existing items in the database. How you provide the manual mapping or manual plantation. Stemming also that much powerful and that much it is effective and adds such kind of the mappings. And stemming can affect retrieval and uh, where effects were identified. Okay they were positive. Stemming is nothing but intended to identify the recall and it is intended to increase the recall. Okay. So, that is why we have already seen that it reduces the precision and increases the recall. Already we have seen this. In this way the stemming algorithm will work and in the coming videos we see some more uh, things relevant to the second unit. Okay. So, please watch the continuous videos also and please subscribe my channel. Thank you one another.